time now for the much awaited one on one with from plus two five six. Here we call it plus two five four. And Kansime, welcome, my dear. Thank you. So great to finally hang out with you in our studios. <sighs> finally, it's happening. You're well. Yeah, I'm well. Lovely. Breathing heavy, though. Breathing heavy. Lovely mm. to meet you once again. And you know, when I met you, we were chatting like old friends. You mm -hmm. are so approachable, so easy to get along with. I hope they believe you. <laughs> right. So let's begin. Kansime, you know you're a household name here in Kenya. Actually, a message that has just come in on our 22422 is, are you Kenyan or Ugandan? Where were you born? I'm African. Yeah. But I'm Ugandan. I was born in Uganda. Mm -hmm. I was born in a very local place called Mparochitang. Anyone who comes from that place knows what being local is about. Mm -hmm. I'm Amchiga from Kabale, and um, I always go around telling people I'm Amchiga even when they don't want to know about it. So yeah, yeah I'm Amchiga, a very proud Mchiga. Okay. And I'm a, a fifth born. Mm -hmm. A fifth born of six. Um, yeah, the guys are asking, sisters, do you have sisters? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I have sisters, but hmm, they're all married. Mm -hmm. All of as, them. As hilarious as you are, does this run in the family? Where do you get this from? You should meet my mom. You wouldn't be asking these questions. Yeah. Everyone who meets my mom, mostly my friends who know what I'm doing, when they meet my mom, they hold back laughter. Yeah. They can't talk to her with a straight face. Because she's so, she will be telling you about her day and then she will tell you about, and you're seeing can see me in the yeah. act. So yeah. yeah, I think I get all this from okay. my mom. Okay, um, so why comedy can see me? Um, and where did all of this start from? Of course, you've told us that your mom, you know, so this is in your DNA because of your mom. But mm. why comedy? Where did this start? Did you study for it? I didn't set out to do comedy. I just wanted to become, well, when I was young, I just wanted to have money. But then when you start understanding, I just wanted to become an actress. I just wanted to be on stage and act. I just didn't know that acting would make people laugh and then I would end up being a comedian. I don't think I knew it as a profession when I was young. But that's it. I just set out to act and and I wanted to do drama at the university. Mm -hmm. but Where in university? Makere University. Mm -hmm. But then my dad wouldn't let me. Because mm -hmm. I think from uh, the age of 11, as acting and dancing and singing, I can act, I can dance, I can sing. So I just wanted to do anything with music. And then my dad was like, well, whose money are you going to waste mm -hmm. studying the same thing you usually do? Yeah. So I ended up doing social sciences and I got a degree. But then I spent three quarters of my time at the university actually in the music department. Wow. Yes. So you can sing, you can belt out a tune. I'm telling you, I can rock Beyonce. Really? Anything. Yes. <laughs> Anytime. Yes. You can take her on. Good thing today is Friday. Follow well, me. Why not give us a listen? You, you, we should be <coughs> the judge of that. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. <coughs> I think I took Please. something before we came here. All right. So, Kansime, you were first an internet sensation before um, we started seeing you on TV. Usually, it's the opposite. A mm -hmm. lot of people start on TV first, and then they start pushing their brands on the internet. Let's talk about that and how just the name Kansime became known. That's how I keep telling people I didn't see it coming. I just... I just wanted to know what people were thinking of the clips I was doing in minibus then, on minibus. Mm -hmm. And I would, I would on just... Minibus on, on minibus, yes, on minibus, yes. So I, I would po post the clip and I would get reactions of, oh, we liked, how did you come up with that line? So I said, what if I put it on YouTube? And I remember I'd put like 13 videos and then I got people sending them back to me saying, are you the one? You look alike. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm the one. So yeah. I got so motivated and kept on posting, kept on posting. I started getting phone calls and receiving money mm -hmm. from actually people who are not in Africa. And they're like, oh, I was having a bad day, I was missing home, and then I watched your clip, and then I liked it. I'm like, huh, this could work. Yeah. So I kept on posting all the videos, but then I didn't even have, I didn't even own the videos I was doing then. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was I was doing. I just knew I'm doing a job, I like it, people like it, and I'm getting a salary, and, and that's good. Yeah, and talking about your clips, Kansime, the Kansime we are seeing here, I'm mm -hmm. sure we we'll all agree. Prim and proper, composed, totally different from the quarrelsome, so quarrelsome, <laughs> like somebody was saying, if this was my neighbor, oh my goodness, I would move quarrelsome, talkative, mm -hmm. like dramatic, and can say, me, this is a totally different you. So just remind us what we know you as, you know, just do something for us. Actually, I didn't come here ready to act. So if you're asking me to act, you have to give me a scenario. What scenario do you want me to put for you? Okay, here. you're a news presenter. I'm and you're doing, yeah, you're Give me that person. bullet you just read early. <coughs> hmm? 
so I don't look at the camera, I look at the camera. Look at the camera. <coughs> Chinese premier arrived in the country a moment ago to start three day visit. The visiting premier was uh, received by President Uhuru Chinyata at the Jomo Chinyata International Airport. The premier will hold bilateral meeting with President Chinyata centered at bilateral trade and business relations. Do you get it? <laughs> I think I broke it. Eh? You know, I it's broke so it. No, it's wonderful. You guys say Chi. Mm. It's Kenyatta. Of course, now me and Mamuchi. Yeah. So it's not Kenyatta, it's Chinyatta. You are, and one of the most unique things about you, Kansime, is that you are from Uganda, but you're a household name here in Kenya. Um, let's talk about just at home. How do people, you know, receive the Kansime brand? They you know, just love. To they love me. Mm -hmm. they, I hope I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not misrepresenting them, but I know they love me. Mm -hmm. And I think for them it's a wow to sell in my country and then finally sell elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Just like any other country, they love you when you sell them well elsewhere. Right. And think, I think they're waiting for me to probably walk around with a cross eye and they'll say, we're finally waiting for actually, that. Actually, somebody asked uh, on Twitter that, how do you do that? You can actually do that cross eye thing. I don't like, know. The first time I did it, I didn't know it was one eye. Mm -hmm. It's just someone who told me, uh, do that again. Oh, it's one eye. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's actually one eye. And then it just... <laughs> so, you know... How did you end up on Citizen TV? Um, like I said, you're a household name here in Kenya. How did this all start? So my life was going on so well. I was contented with the views on YouTube. And then I got a phone call from uh, Mr. Washira Wururu. I was like, hello. Uh, my name is, the way he said his name, I didn't even get it. I was like, hello, who is this? I was like, yeah, my name is uh, Washira and I'm from Citizen TV. I was like, yes. It's like, and uh, we're wondering if you are interested in providing us with clips. So I'm like, uh, what's your name again? Yeah. So now I just got a pen and started writing down the stuff. And and then a turnaround. And moment. he insisted, yeah. you know, he was really persistent. He was like, I want to meet you. How, how soon can I meet you? And I'm like, calm down. He's like, no, I have to meet you. I'm like, you can talk to my manager. He's like, I'm not talking to any manager. Either I'm talking, I've, I've looked for your number over and over from so many sources. I can't talk to you now and then you tell me to go and talk to your manager. Then, <laughs> then finally, he insisted and I ended up traveling within like two weeks. Within two weeks, I'd already come. And now Kansime is a household name. But hold that thought, Kansime. We're taking a short break. And when we come back, we'll be talking love, wedding plans, and more about Kansime. Don't wedding go away. plans. <laughs>